I wrote my first string quartet in 1971 as my master's thesis. That's before probably any of this quartet was actually even alive. Um, and then about, it took me 30 years to get around to a second quartet, which I did <clears throat> in the winter of 2002. Um, I um, want to write a nice, quiet, pleasant sort of piece. And as I was working on it, it got, kept getting more and more angry sounding. And uh, I didn't quite understand what that was all about. And then I'll, I started to hear fragments of America the Beautiful, which is one of my favorite national songs, as a part of what I was writing. And I, at first I said, no, 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 that's, that's not. That's, that's really hokey. You can't do that. But it kept doing it. And so I said, OK. And so I allowed fragments of, this, of it to enter into the piece. And in that song, there's, there's a lot of uh, use of minor thirds moving down. Which, uh, and so I had a lot of ideas left over from that piece. I realized what was prompting me was were two things. One, I had lost a brother very suddenly uh, the year before, about a week and a half before 9-11, which was also very, uh, had a great impact on me, as it did most people. Um, and that's where the anger and, the, and so on was coming from, and I think America the music is beautiful. So anyway, I started playing around with these minor third ideas, and suddenly I was writing a third string quartet. The first quartet was three movements, the second quartet was two movements, this quartet is one movement. And I thought, hmm, I better break that cycle. So when I wrote my fourth quartet, I went to the four movements. So I, I hope you enjoy this.
Thank you.